morning guys, it's me here, Herlanda, also known as Pooh Bear 253 and as you can see, poof poof, I have my new hair in. Okay, so y'all, we're in the kitchen and we're mixing it up. We're mixing it up, mixing it up. Okay, All right, enough being silly. So this is like my normal, so I'm like sharing a little bit of my morning routine with you guys. This is my um little stuff from GNC, my little vitamins and B12 stuff that I drink with my V8 Fusion, the I, 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 Lola. That, that cat is, almost, her nickname is Ninja. So these are some of my pills. These are for my thyroid. And these pills right here, is something I tried, the Bio X4 and the Seal X3 I saw. If, I'm pretty sure you guys saw the Bio X4 floating through like Facebook and stuff. And I was like, sure, I'll try it. It's all natural. Oh, yeah. So I've been on that for like about a year. And like, I don't see, it's supposed to help, hold on. With like digestion, and it's supposed to have like, it's a weight management probiotic. It's supposed to have like probiotics for digestion, promotes digestive health, promotes appetite suppression, and highest quality ingredients. But whether it worked or not, I was using it to help, you know, if I'm going to the gym and, you know, I'm losing about out a month, I lose like three pounds. Like I was hoping that that would help me lose like a pound out of that three. But I don't really feel like it's done a significant help. So that's like a hundred dollars I could save. So I canceled that. So I'm gonna finish those off and I'll be done with that. And maybe I'll find something else. And as far as like for my energy and vitamins for the day, this is what I take. This is my complete multivitamin. I chew this bad boy right here. Um, so I take that in the morning. And after I eat breakfast, this is my everyday energy. And these are Vitafuse. So I chew one of these up after I eat breakfast. But, surprise, surprise, guys. I won't be chewing much of anything for the next week. Mm, we're going to get into that. And before I go to the gym, like while I'm eating my afternoon snacks and stuff, and after I finish eating all that, this is what I take to give me that extra boost. And I'm like, oh, yeah. These vitamin B12, and it's high potency. Love these things. Thebomb.com. But so that I don't get used to them when I'm not going to the gym, I don't chew those. So for the next week, we won't be going to the gym because I'm off today. Today's Monday. Woohoo! Hello, Monday. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, today's Monday, and I'm off tomorrow and Wednesday. I go back to work Thursday. So you guys are gonna be seeing me around. So be prepared for that. So yes, um, so I'm chewing this up. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys what's going on. Some big stuff going on, y'all. We, hubby and I have had enough of these unnecessary pounds around the midsection, you know what I'm saying? We've been working our tails off and I have yet to make it to my first goal when we first started the weight loss journey like five years ago. And that was to be under 200 pounds. And I'm just gonna be an open book. I kind of fluctuate between like 210, you know, when I'm eat, if I eat bad, you know, 215. I've gotten back down to 206. Like my lowest that I gotten down to was 203. And that was like three years ago. And I, that was the closest I got. And I was like, you know what? This year I'm gonna get it, like no matter what. So I have already um, fixed it. 
Hubby and I are doing the My 600 Pound Life Diet. <laughs> it's not really, but we've been watching like My 600 Pound Life and Family by the Ton. And we noticed like whenever they first start, he puts them on protein shakes. Like they drink two shakes and one meal. I was like, Hubby, if they doing that and they can lose 100 pounds, you know, they real big, whatever. They can lose 100, 150 pounds after a couple months, whatever. I'm like, I'm pretty sure we can lose about 10, 15, you know what I'm saying? So, we did some research and found this one to be the best because it's natural. It's the natural one. It's sweetened with stevia and not with those um, sugar substitutes. So we got the lean shake, so we will be drinking this. Mine's already fixed and in the refrigerator. I used almond milk of mine. They say to use water, but I use my almond milk of mine, so I like my almond milk. And I think it will help give mine a creamier taste, and I put some ice in there with the powder. You put one scoop in here, so this is breakfast. So what I said, when I said like I won't be chewing much of anything, this is breakfast, so this would bre this is breakfast. I'm gonna have like a handful of nuts with this. I'm pretty sure hubby had like a um, tablespoon of peanut butter to go with his this morning. So this is not this. This is my BA Fusion and my um, Mega Greens. Or whatever it's called over there. So that's done. So I drink that, this first thing with my medicine. I've had to change some things up and then I'm also doing this. So this is breakfast. We have the vanilla natural. And today is the first day we are starting it. And this one is the chocolate one. This one's dinner. And for lunch, I will be having uh, chicken tacos because I had it left over from Friday because I didn't eat it because we went on a field trip and I couldn't heat up my chicken or whatever and I just ate a sandwich so yes I'm also doing this uh, my friend told me about this over here guys Has, is anyone else on the apple cider vinegar use the organic brags is the best they say so you put two tablespoons of this in with I use like I this this is it right here um i i feel it up to like this little line right about where my finger is my orange juice is what i put in there and you put one tablespoon of real lemon in there and that's supposed to cut the fat and help like if you eat something fat it's supposed to like not digest all of it or something i don't know so but anyway so i have done that i've drunk i've drunk that so I'm gonna try to drink the orange thing first because I usually drink it after my meal and my meal is technically the shake. So it's technically time for the shake. Oh my gosh. So let's try it together. And here it is. It's all the way up to the top. So, cause I put ice in mine. Hmm. Like Hubby said, it doesn't taste like much of anything. It really doesn't. I might have to put a straw in this. Because it's kind of thick. And it's not coming out. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's good, y'all. I ain't going to lie. It ain't good. But it ain't bad. I couldn't imagine just drinking this with just water. I couldn't imagine. It's gonna be a rough few days. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but it just really don't have much taste to it. So this is like all I get to eat for breakfast, bon appetit. And this is with the almond milk. Mm. And you're supposed to drink it slow. And I put a lot of ice in mine. So I kind of watered it down. 
It's made me kind of help it stretch a little bit. Mm. So we'll find out later if that was a mistake or not. So now I need to go rinse this cup. My poor baby girl, Lola, doesn't realize she got to go to the vet today. At 10, it's 8.47 right now. Hmm. So I'm going to be getting her ready to go to the vet. Yeah. So I also wanted to share something with you guys. All right. So what I want to show you guys is my new baby all put together so i know you guys that saw uh, me opening her box she was in kit form i got her off of ebay mm. and you guys know how much i just absolutely love my anastasia and i was like oh i would love to have that baby you know it's african-american and Voila, this baby pops up on eBay as a boo-boo baby, but I don't feel that she's a boo-boo baby at all. She's a cutie. So this is her. See how I am, She's got some of mommy's curly hair on top of, on her head, on her hat. Let's see. Like I said, you saw her as a kid. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna take off one. Her pretty little hands. She's so pretty. And she's got on her juicy gatool. Looking absolutely fabulous. So this is my sweet little ethnic version. And like, I love my Caucasian version too. And I'm like, and my mom, I'm like being greedy. I don't want to sell the other one, but we'll see if anyone's interested in her. If anyone is interested in her, you can send me a message. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so mm. this is my sweet little Persephone Serene, and she got her name from my little fairy baby that I, um, um, that I was, uh, gifted from, um, Hey There Spooky Face, and, ooh, oh darn, and the other lady, her friend, they created that little baby for me, and she has a lovely texture on her, her artist sold her you know, less expensive because she felt that the texture was too harsh. And I was like, yep, this baby was meant to be mine because I don't feel that her texture is harsh at all. I've had babies with much <laughs> harsher texture. So, like, I feel like her, I mean, she's weighted, but, like, I think I weighted her a little too light. She's close. To my other baby i feel as though i need to put some more because i think i mean because like eh, eh. what's that noise um what time is it nine i don't know what that noise was anyway so let me see i have such we have such bad lighting in our house but this is her little Juicy Couture little outfit. And it looks super cute on her. And I'm like, honestly, cause I love her and her sister. Like, honestly, <laughs> I kinda wanna keep both of them. Cause I love this baby. 
Like this kit is just everything to me. So let me show you her hair. She has a bow. Yeah, it's still on there. That's her scissors bow. I put a magnet in her head too. She didn't come with any magnets. I put all her magnets in. So I put a magnet there and for her passy and you can see her glorious painted hair. And she was created by Little Sugars by Joe. Her painted hair is gorgeous. Her painted hair is what got me. I was like, oh, her painted hair is gorgeous. Cause her sister's painted hair is okay, but her painted hair is gorgeous. And I put the magnet for her passy. And then like, I don't really have to buy any more clothes cause like she's the same size as my other doll and they can share clothes. So it's not like, I, I didn't pay a lot for her and I didn't, and I don't have to buy like extra clothes. She can wear the same clothes as Anastasia. Will you two stop fighting? They're, they're besties, but they still kind of fight because him and Duchess used to fight too, so. All right, so let me put her little hat back on. I love her to pieces. There we go. Ooh. So you have seen Persephone Serene and I know everyone wants to see my other new baby that I got, uh, was that yet? What's today? Monday, Sunday, uh, two days ago. <laughs> And that is my sweet little snuggle bear, my little nugget created by Eternal Hugs Nursery Yogi Yolanda Boy Glover. I got him dressed in this sweet little outfit. So you can see him, oh my God. And he has his, his cluster stuff. And someone asked like, what's the difference between the cluster stuff and the regular polyfill? I've shown this before. But I'll show you guys again. I'll go get some and show you the difference. All right, so I'm back with some examples for you guys. And I have it um, like from worse on up to better to in my, my opinion. Okay. All right. All right. So this stuff here, I don't know because like, when I get dolls from like Yogi and I had gotten, I know when I changed them out from, uh, I think Stephanie had something, something like this. It's kind of like loose cotton. And I mean, it's soft, but it's really lumpy. And you really have to work to break it up so that it won't be so lumpy. You know, to me, when this is in the doll, they just feel lumpy like an old pillow and just not very cuddly, just bumpy and just, yeah, no. And then the next one is a softer poly feel. Now this stuff, I could work with this if, you know, if, if closer stuff didn't exist. And like I said, this stuff, you can break it up and you could work with this. Like this ain't that bad. So this, I don't know, like I said, I don't know what these are. I'm guessing it's just as a general poly feel. Cause I think I had purchased some poly feel. See now these things, now I don't throw this away now. Don't think I throw this away, that's why I still have it. Now when I get new babies, this right here is perfect for stuffing the limbs and the head. So when you put your fine glass beads in, the stuff that you put in so the fine glass beads don't come falling all out, this is what I use that for. Because you can't feel it anyway because it's inside the limbs and the head. So yeah, so this one's cool. You know, you can pull it apart, but over time it starts to get kind of caked and lumpy. But like I said, this one ain't as bad. I've had worse, this one's a little better. I think this is the, this is the last little piece of this one. Cause I use the, like when I get new dolls, the stuffing out of old dolls, like if I get like kits or whatever, I use this stuff to stuff um, their limbs and stuff. So this is the last little piece of this. I got a couple lumps of that. And this is what I absolutely love. The cluster stuff, it does not clump. It leaves the baby smooth and soft and just, just irresistible to cuddle like it's effortless 
to break it apart and it just when you put it in the baby and uh, once you compact it it just is really soft and it doesn't clump up and lump up and if it did it does start to clump a little bit all you got to do is just kind of squeeze your baby a little bit to mold it back up so that is what's currently in him along with his um wonder wafer he smells delicious i love it whenever i get a new baby and i get to fill them with the um cluster stuff and with their wonder wafer i cut up uh the little blue wonder wafer and i distribute it throughout their body so when you hug them squeeze them um you smell this just wonderful baby powder smell so yeah so that's what he has uh, in him i'll take off one sock so you can see one tootsie like i said you guys seen this tootsies already look at this feet <laughs> oh my gosh look he has the sweetest feet oh my gosh this is my little nugget like oh my goodness i love this little boy so much like when i at first got him out the box even before i got him you know to how i like my babies to be I just I know you heard me in his box open. I was like, oh my gosh. I was just like this. I was like, you're just the sweetest little nugget. <laughs> so this is my little nugget. My little my little snuggle bear. So this was for um Peanut. You guys know my Elliot by Oh Elliot by not no, not not her. Dang, whoever makes the Elliot kit, not Denise Pratt, it's it's somebody else, I think. Um, but that this was his little outfit, and I just feel that this little outfit was made for this little boy. Look at the little hat, little bib, and I just paired it with the little um, mittens, and I've just paired it with the little the little socks with the little bear paw. On there, and he is just, just the sweetest little yeah, baby ever. Mm -hmm. I love this baby. He is so cute. Say hey, aunties and uncles out there, and say I don't have a name yet because I'm thinking really long and hard. And like, I took some of his weight out because Yogi likes her babies heavy. I like my babies like this size baby. They can be their normal size, so he's probably down to about. A good four pounds even because he was like 411 so I took some out of his belly and some out of his head because um if you guys can remember back to when I had Alex and uh, he was also created by yoga and he had a melon of a head and like I said if you guys are new to my channel that baby when I had first gotten him um, like the back of his head like the hair was gone because I would always lay him on the back of his head. And I just felt because his head was so heavy, it wore all the hair off. So ever since then, I was like, I'm not going to have my babies with heavy heads so that they don't rub their hair off of the back of their heads. Because, yeah. So, yeah, he was like completely bald in the back. And then I sent him back to yoga and she rerouted him again from it. I had taken some of the weight out of him. So that was my little video. I am, oh my gosh, he's so cute. I gotta trim his hair. His hair is like wild. He even up his hair a little bit. Um, so that's the difference to me. Eh, eh, okay. Yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> but anyway, and this, uh, I, I really, um, uh, oh, all credit to Yvonne from like My Little Tulip, uh, but she has since had her twin babies and I believe like she has like completely disappeared from the community. I don't think we'll be seeing her um, and unless every now and then if you go over to her like um, the channel she had made for like her infertility and stuff. But yeah, so she was the one that showed me this and I will be forever grateful. Um, it looks like a little snowball because I absolutely love this stuff too. So she was the first person, like I don't know if she was the first person to find it, but she was the person who told me about it. And I love it and I always buy it. I, you can get it from um, Michael's and Hobby Lobby. 
And I'm still working on my breakfast. They said to drink it slow. So I'm still working on that. So those are my two new additions to the nursery. Mr. No Name, if you guys would like to shoot me some suggestions, like he looks like a Cole, and then I was thinking Sam, Samuel, uh, cause that's my dad's name, name him after my dad, but I, I kind of feel a certain way about naming him after my dad. I'm like, yeah, cause my feelings for my dad is kind of up, down, uh, blah, blah, blah. but anyway, so I don't really want him to be a reminder of that. He is so cute and perfect. His name has to be perfect. You guys know how much I love unique names, different type of names. So come with me with something unique, but not crazy. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know. I just want something simple yet just cute. And just like when you hear him like, oh, and just like, just sweet little innocent baby boy name. Like I really loved like Cole, like Briar Cole. Like I really loved my old baby's names because I worked hard and um, getting their name and everything. And, but I, I'm pretty sure I can find some more names. So I'm looking for a very unique name for this little guy because he is he is so sweet and like I said he's the Denver Rose by Marita Winters and he was like the big it kit in 2015 when I went to the doll show and I wanted him and I finally got him like three years later so you never know you know you just have to sometimes just gotta wait for things you know and he because at first when I first got him I, he was gonna be a girl but then I made a mistake and dressed him in a boy onesie and I said like, oh my gosh he's a boy <laughs> I was like he's a boy he's a beautiful little boy but yes he's a perfect little boy I love him so much and I have weighted him perfectly I left his limbs the same I didn't take anything out of his limbs I just took some weight out of his head but he is per I love him. He needs a name though. He's so cute. I just can't think of a name for him right now. It's so I look at him and I'm like, I don't know. I hate it when I can't think of a name for my baby. Ugh. And I was supposed to be thinking of a name for him, but nothing came to me. Usually the names just come to me. Nothing has come to me for this little boy yet. Nothing yet. So yeah, let me put him down next to his sister. Well, let me see if I can hold them together. Come in, my big girl. You kind of see. Oh, well, you guys can't really see. Ugh. There we go. Kind of the size comparison a little bit. Hmm. So, those are my two newest additions. I love them so much. This is Persephone Serene. She is the Charlotte by Nikki Johnston. Like my other baby in there. And I really want to put some more weight in her legs. I don't know. Her legs feel like they're just like nothing. And this is my little Denver Rose by Marita Winters. And he doesn't have a name yet. I'm trying to think of nothing. I keep bouncing names off, but nothing is hitting the spot. So yeah. <sighs> All right, y'all. That's it. I'm gonna put this cluster stuff back up. Um, finish working on my breakfast. I'm trying to drink this all like they say. So, the plan is to do this for a week. That's the first thing. And if it's not so bad, we're gonna do it another week. And um, yeah. That is the plan. And oh, I was supposed to weigh myself. I need to go weigh myself real quick. I'm gonna go weigh myself to see what I am now. I usually weigh myself in the nude, but I don't feel like getting undressed. So I'll just take a pound off, whatever it is. Write that down and we're supposed to notate 
at the end of this week what we are. So yeah, so Monday through Friday, and we're gonna see how it goes, and we'll see how much weight we've lost, and we're gonna go from there and hopefully be able to do another week of this. Um, we're super excited about it. We were nervous, uh, but we're super excited about it. I'm just hoping that we don't have hanger attacks, you know, when you're hungry and then you get angry. So we've already apologized to each other for the mean things we may say, uh, you know, while we're hungry. So we've done that. So and I've showed you the different polyfills and stuff, showed you babies, showed you a little bit of my morning routine and all the different stuff I'm drinking and supplements and guys, you can t I'm telling y'all, we are serious about this weight loss. I have been trying all kind of junk. I'm on vitamins, medicines, all kind of stuff that I've been trying and some stuff works, some stuff doesn't. We'll see. But that's it. This video is super long. I am out of here. Hope you enjoyed coming and hanging out with me. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the the Ken Master videos, shout out to all the ladies that told me about it. Um, hold on. All right, I just wanted to give a shout out and thank you to the people that suggested Ken Master to me. So Stacy K, thank you. Uh, definitely me too, Latoya. She was the one that told me about it first. And I was trying to go back in the message and find it, I couldn't find it, but then she commented, and um, Sparkle Crown Reborn Baby suggested it to me. And let's see, anybody else? I'm scrolling through the comments on Lil Dude's box opening. That's where I asked if anyone had anything. I think those were the only three people that commented. I think it was one more person I thought. No, 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 no. I thought it was one more person. Oh, here it is. And G's Tiny Toes Nursery suggested it also. And so it got like a lot of people saying, girl, try this. Like a lot of people said they use Ken Master and that they love it. And it is very easy to use I love it it took me a minute to kind of when I did the first video it took me a minute to kind of figure out what did what and so on but once I kind of got the hang of it I figured it out and I'm getting used to doing like some edits and stuff so I know some people did not like when I did Persephone's kit opening when I kind of sped it up I was trying to you know, just kind of go through it. I mean, you still could hear me. It just was at a higher octave. And I was just trying to speed it up because I was just going through her kit uh, box openings. But there were several people that uh, said that they did not like that. So when I did my other uh, mystery kit opening, you guys probably have seen that by now. The Imani kit by Adri Stoetti. I slowed it down. So I hope you guys like that. So I try to listen to my audience. So that's it. I'm out of here. Mwah. Peace. Bye-bye. And I'll see you guys in the next video.